Yasha, give me the second act, episode 20. It's back, and the road to its finale has begun. Kirin came up with a plan para in neutralize at least ang Grim Comet. So it involves it involved all three main protags. They were able to Yeah! In essence, stop it in its tracks. Ngayon, well, not without um uh what's it called this? Toa sacrificing her own well-being again just because she used the Zadzikin. Mission accomplished. In a way, I don't know what but what Kirin is up to. Pero he requested possession of the Zanziken. Tapos he took the Grim Comet back to the feudal era. In the process, nawasak ang, ang windmill of time. Pero uh, pinakita na sa feudal era na siya. Nakipagkita sa kay Kirin Maru. Sinabi niya, oh ito, here's the Grim Comet. Don't you want to destroy this? Ayan na. Only the Bako Seekin can destroy that. Eh, well, natuwa si Kirin Maru. Naalala ni Towa yung sinabi ni Kirin right there that he's going to kill all demons in the feudal era. So, Alala tuloy yung tatlo, lalo na lang si Moro ha. Eh, ang interpretation ni Moro, to, ni Moro ha at that point was, ha? Pati tatay ko, papatayin niya? So, nagmadali silang bumalik sa sa Tree of Ages. While they were going back to the Tree of Ages, pinapakita namin yan sa feudal era, talaga nagkakagulo na because the Grim Comet is already here. So, ang laking takot nila, nila Kagome, nila Sango, ni Miroko. Final scene. Nakarating na sa Tree of Ages sila, yung, tat, yung tatlong bida natin. And they just couldn't call on the tree anymore to open the portal for them. Back to the feudal era. Dahil yung pinwheel na yung nagsisilbing susi sa Tree of Ages doon sa modern era, wasak na. Kung mga may parang, parang nasunog. Toa tried, well, Toa put it back where, it, um, where, they, where they left it on the tree. Wala eh. No reaction. So, nagtaka na lang si Toa. Ano, ano, ano gagawin natin? Ngayon, hindi ba? Hindi tayo makabalik. What a way for... Um, what a way for Yashahimi to come back after a, after a one-week hiatus. Sana. But we're going to break this episode down now, Critic Substyle. Of course. Pace. Wala eh. Wala akong maramdamang, ano eh, wala akong nakitang uh, kabagalan sa pacing ng episode na to. It was either fast but action paced or slow but excruciating. In all those scenes that pinakita ang feudal era, that's in a, um, a feudal era in chaos, basically. Before and after the Grim Comet came to the feudal era. Talagang, gulong-gulo ang mundong yun. You can feel the sense of urge, urgency going on in that era right now. Nalala na yung pinapakitaan yung mga, yung mga bida doon that they're trying their very best to to, uh, to avert the crisis pero to no avail biglang dumating ang grim na gulo ng anle ha? bakit nandito totoo ang grim comet? but do I have complaints mga ka-lifestyle? hell no I have those road to the finale feels right here in this episode flow naman first gear shift here was when was, uh, was when they were successful in in stopping the Grim Comet from at least taking down Tokyo Tower. Why did they call us a gear ship? Kasi, parang, parang di, dito ako nagkaroon ng idea kung ano talaga ang, ang mismong plano ni Kirin. So, 
Yeah. Um, something in him just told him na just to just follow Kirin Maru's orders. Pero he took it he took it up a notch. Hindi niya hinayaang pumunta si Kirin Maru dito sa sa modern era. Pagkos dinala niya ang grim comments sa feudal era. Along with uh, with Towas Zansiken. It will get you to thinking. Alam mo talaga ang plano ni, Ki, ni, ni Kirin this, for this one? Does he plan to um, to truly fulfill Kirin Maru's wishes? Or does he have a plan of his own? So, ayaw nga tinawag kong gear shift eh. Second gear shift was when Towa um, realized na mukhang, mukhang giloyo sila ni Kirin. Yung nasabi niya, Uy, teka, didn't he just say that he's going to destroy all demons in the feudal era? Teka, ano, kasama na yung, kasama na yung mga airpot natin doon? It's a no-brainer of a gear ship, folks. Dito kasi na-realize ni, ni Towa na, wow, teka, mukhang nagoyo tayo ng ng class advisor ko ah. <laughs> final gear ship is of course the final scene. Nung na-realize sila na mukhang din na sila makakabalik sa feudal era. Because of uh, because of Kirin's actions here. So, yeah. Again, a no-brainer of gear ship because this is where Kirin's duplicity was realized. Kasi before that, pinakita na Kaya pala niya dinala ang grim comment doon para si, si Kirin Maroon na mismo sumira. Eh, kaya nga tinawag kong gear shift eh. Napaisip din ako rito eh. So these three gear shifts that I saw, since we are on the road to the finale, all of them will play a role. Plot wise. Um, de, you can't call it a clean plot kasi you're the episode focused on two continuities at the same time. Two timelines, actually. Pero, hindi yung... Hindi sa paraang sabog. Talagang, uh, one, one scene made, one scene showed the, uh, the three main protags' realization of, of what's about to happen. Then, uh, then one scene, pinakita yung... yung the chaos that ensued in the in the feudal era. So, planchado ang plot. It's a well ironed out plot. Hindi mo talaga masasabi na ano eh, na simple side story lang yung sa feudal era. No. This is a um, a road to the finale that transcends time and space. Kaya Natural, dalawang continuity ang ipapakita mo rito. Whatever is happening in the modern era is also happening in the feudal era. And now that the actual Grim Comet is in the feudal era, this complicates things. Kaya, dapat natin malaman kung ano talaga ang plano ni Kirin sa Grim Comet. Kung, kung ifufulfill niya yung wish ng ni Kirin Maru or does he have plans of his own? <laughs> Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, tutukan natin. Tutukan nyo na ang katapusan ng Yashahime. So, pace, flow, and plot, I almost did not tell the, uh, the pacing from the plot. Kasi, the episode is showing two different continuities. So, ang hirap i-discern yung pacing but all in all sabi ko sa inyo rest assured the pacing is uh, the pacing was tense from start to finish so Yashahim in the second act episode 20 isip isip pa mm. two thumbs up talagang I had those road to the finale feels when I was watching this episode. Talagang, ma-feel mo 
na not only will season 2 come to an end but probably the entire spin off kasi eh, wow um is Yasuhime going out in a blaze of glory? Looks like it. Pero, we're now down to the final four episodes next week. So, may, may, ano pa hinihintay nyo mga Yasuhime fans? Tutukan nyo na. <laughs> Tutukan nyo na. So again, Yasuhime the second act, episode 20. Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for this, wow, for this great spin-off mga ka-lifestyle. Ang init na na storya. Kirin, alam ba plano mo dyan sa green comment na yan? So Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, well, there's nothing you can do right now. Kaya, chill chill moon.